Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering dictionary as a morphological model, enumerative morphological model, finite state morphological model, and also I will explain finite state transducer. I will explain all these topics in detail. Guys, I have uploaded complete NLP subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Let's first of all explain dictionary as a morphological model. But before that, you need to know what is morphology. Morphology is the study of how words are formed in a language. It looks at roots, prefixes and suffixes, and word forms. Guys, I'll give one simple example so that you can clearly know what is morphology. Guys, for example, if you consider unhappy, this word unhappy is formed by combining un plus happy. So un is prefix and happy is root word. For example, if you consider playing, this word playing is formed by combining play plus ing, where play is root and ing suffix. So words are formed by combining roots, prefixes and suffixes. So morphology means study of how words are formed in a language. Normally any words are formed by combining roots, prefixes and suffixes. Next we need to know what is morphological model. A morphological model is a methodology system that analyzes the structure of words, breaks them into smaller parts like morphemes and find their root form. Guys, I will give one simple example so that you can clearly understand what is morphological model. Guys, morphological model is nothing but it is a system. Whenever we give any word to the system, then this morphological model will break those words into smaller parts. For example, let us say, I will give word that is playing. Whenever I give playing to this model, this model will break playing into smaller parts like play plus ing. Here play is one morpheme and ing is one morpheme. After breaking word into smaller parts, now this model will find root word. The root word is play. So play is root word. For example, let us say, I will give unhappy. This model will break this word into smaller parts like un plus happy, where un is prefix and happy is root word. So this is one morpheme. This is one morpheme. Now this model will find root word. That is happy is root word. Now I will explain dictionary based morphological model. A dictionary based morphological model uses a prebuilt to word list. We call this prebuilt to word list as dictionary that contains word forms. Guys, word forms mean, for example, if you consider run, run word forms are running, run, ran, etc. For example, if you consider cry, cry word forms are crying, cries, etc. So, dictionary contains various word forms and dictionary also contains base or root form. For example, for crying and cries, root is cry. For example, for running, runs and ran, root form is run. So, dictionary also contains root form. We also call this root as lemma. And dictionary also contains meaning of those words. For each and every word, there will be meaning in dictionary. And dictionary also contains the parts of speech like noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, etc. So, in dictionary based morphological model, we will use dictionary in order to train our model. So, in dictionary based morphological model, we will train our model by giving dictionary. So, this model will give correct output. So, when a word is given, the system searches the dictionary to find its correct root form and meaning. Yes, for example, I will give word that is running to my model. So, whenever I give running to my model, my model will give output like word form is running. And lemma. Lemma is nothing but root. Root word is run, running, parts of speech is verb. So, in dictionary based morphological model, we will train our model by giving dictionary. So, our model will give correct output by checking the dictionary. And dictionary model is useful in NLP because by using this model, we can perform lemmatization. Bringing our word to base form is known as lemmatization. For example, converting running to run is known as lemmatization. In order to perform lemmatization, we need dictionary model. And we also use this model for POH tagging, that is parts of speech tagging. Whenever we give any word, this model will tell that where this word is known, or pronoun, or verb, etc. And we will also use this model for spelling checking in order to identify wrong and unknown words. And we also use this model in translation. That is, if you want to convert one language to other language, at first this model need to understand that language perfectly. And this model understands language perfectly by using dictionary. These are advantages of dictionary based morphological model. And the first one is very accurate, that dictionary is very big, so output will be correct. And second one is good for irregular words, because normally if you consider past tense, in past tense, all words will end with ed. For example, if you consider cry, past tense is cried. For example, if you consider play, past tense is played. So in regular form, for past tense, all those words ends with ed. But whereas if you consider irregular form, like go, past tense is went, and by, past tense is bought, so, for this irregular words, we can use dictionary. A dictionary contains correct meaning. So, dictionary based morphological model is good for irregular words. So, this model works well for known languages like English, Hindi, Telugu, etc. These are disadvantages of dictionary based morphological model. 
and first one is needs a large word list the dictionary contains meanings only for known words if you give any unknown words to dictionary dictionary may fail to give answer a dictionary cannot create new words there is no creativity googling means searching something in google so dictionary may not give this meaning so dictionary is not creative next i will explain what is enumerative morphological model this enumerative mean listed one by one are counted one by one so an enumerative morphological model is a type of model where all word forms are stored one by one like in a big list guess in enumerative morphological model we will store all word forms in single list for example if you consider word right this word right contains various forms like right rights writing wrote written all these are stored in single list this model does not break words into parts like root or suffix it simply store entire word in a list so this model will not break words into parts like this it simply shows complete word in a list so all words are stored separately not as root plus endings these are disadvantages of enumerative model and the first one is takes more space where this model will store all word forms so dictionary becomes very big and second one is no knowledge of word structure where this model will not break words into prefix suffix and root without breaking words it will show complete word in list so this model does it know what is root what is prefix and suffix for example if you consider word written this model cannot tell that written comes from right and third one is cannot handle new words if any word is not in the list system cannot understand it for example if you consider list that contains right rights writing wrote and written for example if written is not in the list this model cannot understand meaning of written and fourth one is cannot create new words So this model cannot understand what is root word, what is prefix and suffix. So this model cannot create new words. For example, this model cannot make unhappiness using un plus happy plusness. As model cannot understand what is root word, what is prefix and what is suffix. These are disadvantages of enumerative model. Next, I will explain what is finite state morphological model. A finite state morphological model uses a finite state machine to represent how words are built from roots and endings. Yes, normally any word is built by combining root and endings. For example, if you consider word playing, this word playing is built by combining play plus ing, where play is root word and this ing is ending. A finite state machine has set of states and transactions between states. Each transaction is labeled with letter or morpheme. This model has three states: one is start state, next one is transaction state, and third one is accept state. In start state, machine is ready to read word, and whereas in transaction. In transaction state, this model will read each letter one by one. And whereas in accept state, if all the word follows valid path, that is valid rule, machine will accept that word, or else machine will reject that word. I'll give an example. I'll give word that is cash to this machine. So this machine will read each letter one by one. Like at first it will read C, then A, then T, and it last S. After reading each letter, this model will break this word like cat plus S. And this model know all plural sense with S. Now this model will accept this word. For example, I'll give C A T Z. That is cats to this model. This model will read each character one by one. After reading each character, now this model will divide this word like C A T plus Z as the last letter is Z. This model cannot understand this word, so this model will reject this word. So word that is cats is accepted, and whereas cats it is not accepted because plural ends with S, not with Z. These are advantages of finite state morphological model. Our first one is this model can check whether word is valid or not, and second one is it can also check spellings, and this model can also separate root word from prefix and suffix. For example, whenever I give cats, this model can separate like cat plus s. These are advantages of finite state morphological model. Next, I'll explain what is finite state transducers. This is FST is nothing but it is a machine. We'll use this machine in NLP in order to read input letters one by one. And after reading input, this model will give output in the form of letters or symbols, and this model will follow states. That is nothing but whenever any word is correct, this model will reach to final state, or else this model will not reach to final state. Case mainly, finite state transducers will perform two main operations. One is analyze a word, and next one is generate a word. I'll give two examples. One is for analyze a word, and next one is for generate a word. First one is for analyze a word. For example, I'll give word that is cats to this model. This model will read each character like C A T S, and after reading S, this model will understand that S is plural, so it will generate P L, that is plural. So whenever I give cats, this model will generate output like cat plus plural form. This is all about analyze a word, and this model can also generate a word that is opposite. Whenever I give C A T plus plural form, this model will generate output like C A T 
in place of plural, this model will generate S. So this is example, in order to generate a word. So by using this model, computer will understand that how words are built and changed. That this is finite state diagram, Q0 is nothing but start state. In start state, this model will read first character that is C and generate C. Next one is read A, generate A, read T and generate T and at last read S and generate plural form. As last character is S, C A T S as all characters are correct. So final state is accepting state. These are users of final state transducers. And the first one is this model will analyze word structure. And this model can also generate correct words. Like whenever I give cats plus plural form, it will generate cats. And next one is it will work fast by checking letter one by one. 